Can a lack of prenatal care cause spine problems? In today's Sunday case study, I am presenting the case of a newborn. The mom, who is a 22-year-old female, gave birth to the baby with a bump on its back. She didn't really seek the appropriate prenatal care because she thought she was young and healthy and she really didn't need to. The baby was born at 37 weeks and when the delivery happened, they noticed that the baby had this on its back. She also wasn't moving her legs normally. So what do you think is wrong with a baby in this case and what other birth defects could be present in this baby? Also, what steps can a woman take when trying to get pregnant with a baby that could potentially prevent this birth defect? Is this common? Stay tuned tomorrow and I'll go through the whole case. So let's talk about spina bifida. Yesterday, I presented the case of a newborn baby that was born with a bump on its back, and this bump appeared to be leaking clear fluid. The bump looked like this, in which actually spinal contents were herniated out of the baby's back, and the clear fluid is actually spinal fluid. That's called a neural tube defect, which is a kind of birth defect. Spina bifida is a type of neural tube defect in which the spinal cord isn't formed correctly during development. It can range from very minor cases in which we sometimes don't even know that the patients have until later in life to very severe cases such as this when the baby is actually born with a part of its spine that's exposed. This particular baby had what's called a myelomeningocele in which a portion of the nerves and the spine actually forms outside of the body. This type of neural tube defect can cause severe disability and even paralysis depending on what part of the spine isn't formed correctly. So what causes this condition? Actually, we aren't really 100% sure, but we do know that certain genetic predispositions or family history can contribute to the development of this, as well as a lack of folate during pregnancy. Taking prenatal vitamins when you are planning to get pregnant and throughout pregnancy is important to reduce that risk, but it won't necessarily prevent it. We also know that certain conditions during pregnancy can increase the risk of having a baby with a neural tube defect, such as obesity, diabetes, and certain medications during pregnancy. That's why it's really important to get appropriate prenatal care in order to screen for these type of problems to reduce that risk. Also, appropriate prenatal care is extremely important because we can identify babies that have this birth defect before they're born. That will allow us to plan for a safe delivery and appropriate specialists that are available to help perform surgery on the baby when the baby is born. In some cases, surgery can actually be performed in utero or while the baby's inside the mom. Cases of a myelomeningocele have to be closed typically within 24 hours of delivery. This is done by a pediatric neurosurgeon and occasionally plastic surgeons are also involved in these cases. Other associated problems in patients that are born with myelomeningocele is typically hydrocephalus or when water backs up on the brain and it can often require shunting of that fluid. Chiari malformation type 2 is also a commonly associated condition. There are also other associated orthopedic conditions such as club feet, scoliosis, muscle contractions, and other hip and joint issues. With appropriate medical care, these kids can live very fulfilling lives with their disability. Hope you guys learned something this week, and I'll see you next week for another case. And happy holidays from my family to yours.